Ooh, 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 I got lucky. I got lucky. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. But right now, it's time to get started. It was raining, but uh, it's getting better now. And today, I'll get a chance to drop this Porsche over here. I already dropped the top. And uh, yeah, man, today we got two jobs to do, both of our businesses. But I will also get a chance to show you guys two properties that I haven't shown you guys in a long time. And uh, yeah, man, let's see how the day's gonna turn out. Oh, I forgot how fast this is. Definitely let me know, guys. Definitely the best graph. Wow, the graphic for this, though, man. Hashtag on point. Let's go. Oh, I thought that GT, bro, that GT3 was amazing. This thing sounds good, too. But, um, yeah, man, welcome to another Let's Go to Work. Uh, first thing first, we need to get some food. And I also need to put insurance on this car since I'm going to be driving it. But we do need to pick up the vet from out of town. So maybe we'll we'll get like four insurance for this. And then we probably got to bring the vet back to town too. Yeah, it was raining earlier, but this thing actually looked really nice, bro. After a rainy day like that. All right, let's go get the insurance first, man. You guys already know about these drivers. Now I can't wait to see the Miami drivers, bro. And also, I think I'm going with that idea. Remember the second trip we were talking about yesterday? I know we're gonna be talking about this all month until we get it right. So the survey should be up soon to even figure out where we're going next. But the second trip I'm thinking about a lot since we're gonna be able to go to like I'm I'm just saying like us going to Florida get the new release of GTA 6 enjoy yourself and uh, yeah I can't wait now man Woo -hoo. all right let's get this thing in show bro I hope it don't start raining again bro the weather on my phone says it's not gonna rain so I'll be able to put the top up anyway all right so let's get insurance don't tell me it's gonna be like 17,000 it better not be <laughs> how much Bro, it's like twenty one thousand for this Porsche. My goodness, bro. All right, thank you. Bye. I get to report these cars stole if they are stolen or whatever. But um, we'll be driving this today, and why not? All right, so right now let's go to the location where is a little bit further than the the cash business. So let's go to this one right here. We might, we're gonna have to stop for gas and food. Okay, it's telling me to jump on the highway, which is perfect. When I get over there, I'll stop for gas. So, guys, the uh, sun this Sunday that just passed, I got a chance to go to some NASCAR. No, I'm actually taking the highway, bro. Um, I actually got a chance to go to NASCAR, bro. I ain't never seen that much crash like in the beginning. I think it was like uh, the second. Um, I guess the second run or whatever and the drivers the drivers crash. One of my favorite driver, of course, did crash. You guys already know who I'm always going for, of course. And uh, it was just like crash after crash, but um ninety nine won of course and uh yeah it was a great race, man. I got a chance to vibe with SCS. S Z S I think. S Z N oh my goodness, I forgot that company name. I got a chance to, to uh, I think it's SZN or something like that. I got a chance to vibe with them. We got a chance to chill, watch the whole race, and just enjoy ourselves, man. Definitely a big shout out to NASCAR for always like you know showing love and stuff. Like, is it right here? Oh, I was about to jump on the highway. <laughs> Pretty close. And we got this gas station right there at the corner. We need some food. This thing is loud, though, man. I hope you guys are gonna be able to hear me over this. But um, let's go to work, man. One of my favorite. One of my favorite. We need to check out this warehouse soon because we got so many cars in there. Yeah, let's go to work is uh, definitely one of my favorite after LSPDFR. Feel like we've been doing this for a minute, but you guys enjoy it so much, and and I don't know why this never get old for me at all. Like I've played any other games and get bored of it over time. 
But I always found myself like don't the don't a lot of you guys find yourself coming back to GTA no matter what. Whether it's GTA online, whether it's G whatever. <laughs> you find yourself coming back to GTA no matter what, bro. Alright, so they did say the business did stop, so we gotta Ah oh, shoot. Wait, did I take a red light? I was not paying attention, bro. Alright. Yeah, we right here, man. We ain't going nowhere. I think I took a red light. <laughs> I didn't see him, bro. I look left and right. I didn't, you know, I wasn't paying attention to the right. Good day. What's up, man? How can I help you? That's right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I was like, I swear that was that was kind of. I guess the the light was yellow or green. <laughs> All right, sixty two. Thank you, officer. You're in jail. forty dollars down the drain. All right, we can actually park right here. Oh, word. Let's see how you doing the pressure. Straight up. <laughs> oh man, what kind of drivers are you guys? I mean, some of you guys that drive. When you pull over, do you like lose it? I don't know. Like, I feel like yo, whenever an officer pull me over. Like what's up? I kind of feel like you treat somebody with respect, they're gonna give you respect back. Except for officers that be thinking like they my dad or something like that. Yes, we're gonna get attitude, we're gonna go back and forth. I remember, bro, this one officer, okay, we out of supply. All right, we gotta move some stuff and then we are almost out of supply. Um, let me buy some supplies and then move some stuff too. Bro, I remember in New York, this officer, bro, this officer came with the worst attitude ever. And bro, we was going at it, and then we went at it in court to the point where I, bro, he lost his cool in court. So the judge kind of gave it to me. I was, I was happy with that. You never see like somebody that lo he lost his cool in court, bro. Um, let's resupply real quick. We're gonna buy some. Oh no, we're not stealing supplies. It doesn't cost anything to steal though. Um, fifteen thousand. Gotta spend some money, bro. Yeah, he lost his cool in court, bro. I remember that was like, um. I, it is. It was not the Bronx. I think it was like a f like close to Harlem or something like that. You know, some of you guys that's from New York, you guys know that DMV I'm talking about. Cause I went over there, bro, and uh, yeah, that cop lost his cool in court, bro. All right, we're waiting for um the helicopter to get over here. But yeah, and then that was that was probably the only traffic ticket I really beat though. Cause I remember my speeding, bro. I had a speeding ticket. Ah, uh, the worst of all. Just got into an argument with my ex. I'm talking about like I had to drop her off work, and then I'm talking, about, you know, after an argument and stuff like that. And then I'm driving back home. I'm talking about like I live in the Bronx. Driving back, I wasn't paying attention. Not gonna lie, I got caught speeding, and uh. The officer threw the book at me, bro. He definitely threw the book at me. Uh, did I deserve it? Definitely, because I was I was speeding, and I did try to ignore him too. <laughs> All right, they drop it. There you go. I did try to ignore him, like trying to act like I know he was stopping me or not. And uh, when I got to court, bro, I'm talking about like I suit up and everything. And guess what? The judge, the judge didn't even let me talk. All I hear was, "Yeah, this gonna happen. This gonna happen." I'm like, bro. I didn't even stand a chance, bro. I'm talking about like that officer came ready. He was like, I just calibrate uh, the, the radar detector. I just did this. I just did that, bro. This dude came ready, bro. And I was like, you know what? It is what it is. The only the biggest L I took is the fact that my um because of what uh, what he um because of that ticket, my insurance skyrocketed. And uh, yeah, you guys already know how that is. But other than that, uh, tickets I stay away from, bro. I am the safest driver. Other than GTA, bro, I am the worst driver in GTA. Um, let me see. One more. Let's buy one more. I gotta show you guys two properties too, man. Look at that. We doing we doing so much work, and I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. All right, let's hurry up. And uh, we're gonna try and live stream tonight, guys. Just like I say, I won't be here on Thursday. On Thursday, by the, the time I usually live stream, I'm probably gonna be 
on a flight. Let's go. All right, we're waiting for the next one. Oh, I thought that was a cop. Now that's just somebody that got scared. All right, so we're all resupplying this, and then we will get a chance to move on. But um, I think I got most of my ticket when I used to live in the Bronx, bro. Like NYPD in the Bronx be wilding out. I remember in Brooklyn, yeah, I I be getting warnings and stuff like that. You know, you gotta drive. I mean, you live in New York, bro. You have to be a driver. <laughs> you have to be a driver, like for real. Unless like you want you want your car to get hit or you know things just happen. Unless like you live in Long Island or somewhere like that. But you live in a you live anywhere like around Brooklyn stuff like that, bro. You got to be a driver. All right, let's get this last supply. All right, and you guys know how we be doing. Straight up, straight up pushing. If you see a yellow taxi in Brooklyn, I think it's a thing now. If you see a yellow, because they be pushing us when we in the city. So when 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 they're in Brooklyn, bro, bro, I'm talking about like they will cut. Like I've seen people that cut off taxis, get in front of them, do that, <laughs> do this, do that. Wow, uh, if if when when you are in Manhattan, these taxis be wilding out, bro. Definitely be wilding out. All right, so let's uh let's uh do a quick move and uh, we're working, bro. This is my business. This is my. All right, let's sell some for sixty. They're gonna give me that plane, and then we'll head over there. Now, just like I say, I do have two, actually three properties that I want to show you guys, and then we got to pick up the vet from out of town. Which is gonna give me a great opportunity for that, and uh, yeah, let's go to work, man. We gotta bring back the tow jobs and all that stuff. You guys, I saw you guys really enjoy those. Oh, this is a nice picture town, bro. All right, and uh, yeah, I did get a chance to go to NASCAR and stuff like that, man. I did enjoy uh, just just chilling, man. It was a good vibe. Uh, I didn't get a chance. So um, there was like a football player there and stuff like. I didn't. I didn't even get a chance to meet them. I was just on a move. Bro, you never seen like when you just you just catching a vibe, just chilling. That was just me, man. <laughs> that was just me. But um, we were just chilling, man. Now I can't wait to go to Nitro. Um, is I think it's. Oh shoot, no, nope. By the time you turn around, I'm gonna be gone. Nitro Cross, I think. This is going to be my first time, so I'll get a chance to meet some of the drivers, which is why I'm leaving town um, this week. And uh, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. And definitely big shout out to Veloce, always hooking me up with some of the best, um, some of the best events, bro. I decided to go that way because I already know how the game does it. Bro, there's just certain area. I think it's sometime I think is is my fault, too. Because of the map, bro. That cop is still coming, bro. This dude won't give up. This dude's not giving up. He is not giving up, bro. He finally gave up. Yep. Ah, oh, we picked. Okay, we almost picked up another one. I'm getting hungry. I have to eat. <laughs> do we have snack on us? Well, yes, we do. Man, why they eat? All right, I'll eat that until it's time to go eat at um probably a kill spot or something like that. Probably give me some Jamaican food real quick, man. Let's go. No, let's go around. Let's go around. Bro, I'm always coming this way, man. Come on. Open this thing. I don't want to scratch my car, man. You see this dude be tripping. Like, yo, I'm right here, bro. I'm right here. Open this thing, bro. What's wrong with you? I'm taking you down. You taking me where? Hey. Oh my God. What's wrong with you, man? Oh shoot! Oh! <laughs> oh! I did the burn. I wasn't looking. Oh! I ain't no scratch. You see? Calm, bro. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Oh man. All right, so we're going over there. We gotta, we gotta fly this plane over there and do our thing. Oh, I might. Oh shoot, no, but I'm not going to Sandy. All right, let's park over here. 
Oh shoot, I was trying I was trying to handle it, but you know this Porsche. Alright, I don't think it's gonna rain, bro. I don't think it's gonna rain. Alright. Let's go. Man, you know one thing I would love to bring for the trip though? Either I put it on a laptop. I think I might put GTA on a laptop. So you guys can actually try this yourself. Like for real. Like all my mods. Oh, oh you guys that be watching the videos too. Um, maybe I'll bring a copy and put it in, in a bunch of computers and then we all just enjoy. I don't know, there's so many options, bro. Alright, I, I have to get fuel over there, bro. This thing. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. This one still work. Right, I have to get fuel. Look look at where I'm at, bro. That's not enough. That is not enough. They be trying me, man. Who left that much fuel on the plane? All right, there we go. All right, we're just filling up right now. And and one thing I'm looking forward to, I know Rockstar is always watching. If they take all these stuff that we do for Let's Go to Work, not just LSPFR, all the stuff that we do for Let's Go to Work. Once you're done with the story mode, we just wanna we just wanna enjoy the game like this. Just being able to go on about day to day life the same way they did for like Red Dead, right? You know me seem like when you watch a player, when you follow a player, it, they still have a life. They still doing their thing. Is this thing gonna turn on? Oh, I gotta do the same thing. All right, so I'm using Mania right now. You see how like most of the time, like they have a life, they doing their thing. And they just keep on moving. We just want to keep on moving with GTA, also, bro. And this is a new technology. I mean, not new technology. I mean, new engine. Just new everything now. So, oh, remember, I could take off from right here. I don't have to go on the field anymore. As long as I take off before that, I see it. I see it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they, they follow up, bro. Like for real, for real. Like, can you imagine though? Can you imagine real life mod in GTA 6? <laughs> like for real. I would I would definitely take that W, bro. Cuz I see you guys been enjoying it. I'm pretty sure Rockstar seen us. I mean, you guys seen how many episodes I made and you guys still enjoy this. This is like almost 10 years later. Cuz we didn't start with let's go to work till like a couple years ago. But yeah, man, just just imagine we have that in GTA 6. Just being able to have a day to day life, not just regular mission, but just like, you know, just having all doing our thing. Like right now, I'm trying to maintain both of my businesses. I'm about to show you guys a nice crib and, you know, things like that. Talk about that. I might not have to. No, I still got to pick up the Corvette, though. I'm going to have to drive over there. But the Malibu place, you guys already know where it is. But well, this plane is not that bad, man. We got enough space. All right, this guy's right here. I hope you don't shoot me down, man. I mean, yeah, I'm excited to see what's coming. What else we're gonna be able to do? Just like um, you know, all these other games we've been playing and stuff like that. I love open war game, bro. I love being competitive too, but after a while, bro, like a game like that, once you, I mean, once you finish playing it, I feel like it should it should have those things available at least. Because I remember after I was done playing this, bro. After story mode, you don't got nothing else to do, really. The side mission, you could do little things. Um, I remember in the older games, you could be a vigilante. Uh, you know, I kind of feel like it's stuff like that. Rockstar need to bring back, like you know, remember from GTA 4, San Andreas stuff. Just those things, man. If they bring those back, bro, I think GTA 6 is going to be the I mean, even though I know GTA 6 is going to be one of the top game of 2025, but it's going to it's going to be like even more like for real. Oh, believe it or not, there's still people that haven't played GTA 5. <laughs> I got my friend to play GTA 5 the other day, bro. Like I'm talking about like never touch the game. Don't even know what it, if it exists. Don't even know if there was a one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. Like they never touched that game or in their life. I was so shocked. I was like, there's no way you never played GTA, bro. But they never did. And it was funny to watch them play because they didn't they didn't know nothing that they were they were doing. They didn't know nothing, bro. 
All right, so we can actually land the same way. I feel like this plane. Oh, shoot. I did not align at all. All right, once I pass this, we good. Get this wheel down. All right, we good. Here you go, chopper. Just landing right here. We good, though. We good. Yeah, I had enough fuel and all that. We good. All right. Can you imagine? That's 60K on the drop, bro. All right. Thank you. Where's my money? Thank you. All right. So, um, my goodness, the time go by fast. I guess tomorrow we'll do our cash business. We got to go. We got to go because I want to show you guys these properties, man. We got to drive all the way out of town. So the Malibu mansion, you guys already know we got a McDonald in there. I, I mean, if you haven't seen the Malibu mansion, I don't think you've been watching my video. I used to start like every day from there too. Oh, was that guard? Okay. Oh, he's not even there. There's a cop passing on top of us. He's chasing somebody. It's like I hit all day passing on top of us. All right, so where are we going right now? We're going all the way over here. You guys will get a chance to see the designer mansion. Oh, it wanted me to take side roads. I mean, I'm driving my 911, bro. Why not? Can I see myself in a 911? Maybe when I'm older. I don't know. I feel like 911 like that is is when I'm older, just chilling, just vibing. Thank you. All right, this is like oh shoot, this this kind of like give me uh Jer I, I guess Seinfeld <laughs> vibe whenever I see these Porsche because I was not bro I was not into Porsche at all like that until like I got a chance just like Ferrari but uh, I've been enjoying those cars man oh we thank you. Go. What really do? Let's go. Day is nice, man. Why not? But um, you guys let me know. I mean, let's talk about it. What are some of the things you guys will love? I, I mean, I saved some of the things I would love to come back to GTA. What what are some of the things you would love to come back to GTA, bro? That Rockstar can actually add, like for real. And I'm looking forward to so much. Oh shoot, I'm looking forward to so much and then some. But um, like especially some of the things that got taken away from us after San Andreas, bro. I feel like we got we got ripped off. Oh shoot, my bad. Damn, was that a bad scratch for me too? I feel like we got ripped off after San Andreas, bro. Like for real. We got ripped off. Oh shoot! I wanted to get some pictures of this Porsche suit, bro. Let's go upstairs real quick. I'm just gonna run upstairs. You guys already know the shop. Oh, I could tell. I was like, wait. I feel like something was glitching. Yeah. Hopefully, this can actually reset it. I feel like something was glitching, bro. As soon as I start driving, I was like, some was glitching, bro. Some some fell off a little bit. All right, my dude's not even here. I guess because I have so many maps on. All right, my dude's not even here. I didn't even give him the day off, bro. All right. Oh, oh, actually, in order to drive it, I have to let them know I'm taking it for a drive. All right, drive your car. Did it reset that? I hope it did. No, it didn't. All right. Guess I'm having a map issue, so most likely I have to reset. All right, guys. So I had to stop for a second because the map was like I'm out. <laughs> and you guys already know, man. I'm all about like you know how how the graphic and just how everything worked in the game, man. Ooh, nice Lambo, bro. 
But all right, now we are heading to the Malibu Mansion. Let's check it out real quick. You guys already know I got the Bugattis. I got the one. I got a bunch of cars over there, actually. But that glitch a second ago was just wild, man. Oh, that's that Porsche be passing by the house, huh? That thing is so loud. Word, word, you want to race, bro? He's turning. <laughs> oh, that was a nice Lambo, bro. Can we join the 200 miles? Nope. I don't think we're going to make it. Start riding over. Oh, man, the Malibu place. I remember coming to this place every day. All right, home sweet home. All right, so one of our garage. Um, let me see. I gotta make sure I load everything. Let's park. Let's park up front. I mean, if you haven't seen this, bro, you haven't watched me yet. All right, so once we get there, we just gotta load everything. <laughs> Yes, sir. Is that a P1 we got over here? No way. We got the Bugatti, the Juan. That's why this Bugatti's been hit, <laughs> hitting that. Oh, man. This thing's been going for a minute. Look at the Juan. Let me see. Did I change the sound? Oh. Oh, that thing sound good. The one, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, but no, we don't need that, man. I think I did change the Bugatti sound too. But um, yeah, I'm here to show you guys the crib, not these cars. But you, you guys already know me. Yeah. And yeah, one of my favorite. Come on. Carrera GT now. Come on, bro. Come on. Yes, sir. All right. Let's show you guys the crib so we can actually get out of here. Oh, first person sometime make it feel so much better. All right. As you walk in, I remember Jackie Chan on the wall. Yes, sir. Definitely big shout out to Jackie Chan, bro. Jackie Chan was my whole childhood, bro. From all, all like I mean, I've seen. I feel like I've seen a lot. Jackie Chan have so much movie. I don't think I've seen it all. I've seen most. <laughs> I've seen most of them. But yeah, man, we got the pool, the indoor pool. Now nah, let me just change indoor pool and all that. We got McDonald's downstairs. We got the chilling spot over here. We got the bar for our parties. Actually, chill right here and read a book or something. That's the real living room, aka conference room. And we got Mickey D's. Wait, did we switch it from Mickey D's? Oh no, we yo, that's crazy. Look at this, man. Somebody look at this. We got a bathroom over here. And we got Mickey D's, bro. You know, we having a party. Everybody chilling. Look at we even got a table. <laughs> you can't make this up. All right, somebody got read love McDonald to put it in the house. Let me know, man. Wow. I don't know. Some I be loving McDonald, but sometimes I just want some Burger King um burgers, bro. Give me a Whopper. <laughs> Whoa, I look nice though, man. Let me know, man. I I miss this place. I miss. It. I'm showing it off, but I'm like, bro. I remember just chilling here all the time. And you guys remember we got a studio. We always rent this out to Lamar. He haven't he haven't hooked us up lately, so yeah, the studio's eating dust right now, man. Nobody's coming in here like that. So I, I feel like it's almost about that time to sell this house if they ain't gonna be making no money. And we bet we're barely here, bro. Ah, oh, that's nice. We got too many rappers out there, all singers or whoever that's recording to be to not be making money off of this, bro. And we got my little office over here. In the conference room, you know, where I, where I get all my calls and all that. Let me know what you guys think. 
Man, we got our own gym. Now my, I, I remember my last place I used to have like a home gym like that, but now my own gym is my garage. <laughs> my garage is my own gym, bro. I got the treadmill there, all the weight, all that. Scarface, bro. I remember, bro. I remember I was not allowed to watch this movie though, until like way after. <laughs> Let's go. Let me know what you guys think. Wait, with this mod, can we still take a shower? No, I don't think we can. So there's a mod that's in now where, you know, just like the garage, just like, you know, all these things. It'll allow you to do mod I mean anything you want to do in the house. Yeah, same style, guys. It's like I said, one of my favorite property. We're gonna have to throw a party over here. Oh, yeah, it does allow you to do all these things. Uh now nah, you can't take a shower. We can actually turn on the TV. Now tablet. It's All right. I'm trying to get copy right now. And our main bedroom. Yes, sir. Oh, shoot. That looks so realistic with the light. You know how one is always off in a way. Wow. This is this is on point, man. This is on point. Let's go. I like it. <laughs> TV in the bathroom is the worst idea. I'm I'm letting you guys know that. For real. TV in the bathroom is the worst idea ever. <laughs> For real. Don't do it. Don't do it. Your phone is more than enough. TV's in the bathroom? Forget it, bro. All right, but you guys got a chance to see the bedroom, all the bedroom, upstairs. Um, I think I'll show you guys everywhere upstairs. We got the balcony, of course. Wait, can I still go out that way? Oh, I have to get up here um, from downstairs. Oh, I can actually do it from um, the bedroom. Bro, what a day so far, man. I hope you guys been enjoying these, man. Yeah, from the bedroom. Any of those don't open up? Neither that one. Oh, that one? Everything can't open up, bro. Got a TV, nice little chilling spot over here. Let me know what you guys think. Or some TV. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. All right, do you guys have it? Um, I don't think there's no steps. Should I just jump in the pool? Oh shoot! Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot the water doesn't work. Oh, that's wow. I made it though, man. I'm trying to get mania. All right, we got to start mania and let's get us. Let's get ourselves out of the pool, bro. All right. There you have it. Actually, just recently, bro, there was somebody. Um. That was showing me they own a Hellcat and you know and all that stuff. Now shout out to them, bro. I'm always proud of you guys when I meet you guys, man. It was like, bro, I was watching one of your videos and I saw I saw this Hellcat, been wanted it since then. I'm like, bro, there's no way, there's no way. And he owned his own Hellcat and all that. And uh, yeah, man, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see like when you guys are inspired by you know some of my episodes and stuff like that, or. All you guys that I turn into car guys. I mean, I love cars, bro. I love cars and I just, you know, just be doing my thing, man. All right. What kind of boat is this? It did look like a military boat for a second. But yeah, guys. Malibu place. Let's go check out the rest of the properties. Oh, I didn't know I could move those like that. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. Yeah, we got two more properties. I'm bro. I'm wasting too much time here, man. You guys know this place. If you know, you know. We have to go. Actually, we need to throw a party here. All right, and they actually got have some stairs to go downstairs to the beach. As you guys can see over here, you can actually go downstairs. Oh, and go to the helipad too. So totally we forgot about that. All right, but anyway, we are out of here. Uh, for this garage, there's a script for anybody that's new to this. 
you have to load these cars in. Once you press the right key, um, you should be able to load everything in. But right now, let's go. Next property. Because we need to pick up this vet, bro. My map was gl really glitching earlier. But I'm pretty sure it's because of the mission and all the stuff that I've done so far. Same moves, man. Let's go. I see the biker. That's like, oh shoot. Oh, that biker, man. But it was also my fault for speeding. Let's go. You gotta call it speed and speed, bro. <laughs> Oh, what cyber truck? Different color cyber truck, bro. Go, man. All right, let's go check out this crib. Then I can actually go over there and get the vet. Now you guys remember this crib, man. Some of you guys do. The OG subscribers. All right. Because the people that's renting this crib from us. Oh, I gotta remove this. Um, the people that's renting this crib from us, as you guys can see, they own BMWs and stuff. Then we <laughs> I was gonna say then we have Drake on the wall. All right, you guys remember this? Joke on this wall. That was a chilling spot. We can actually go uh, can we go outside from here again? Yes, we can. All right. <laughs> The main thing about this property is the pool. I mean, this is this is a big pool, bro. Let me know what you guys think. It's crazy. We got one more property, and this bring you back to the entrance. I feel like there's no privacy in this property, though. All right. Let me know what you guys think. We got the ball over here. We might have to throw a party over here too. Party time. Let's go. We got a football over here. Let me know what you guys think, man. We got the helipad, aka basketball court. <laughs> I think an helicopter could still land over here. Yeah, we should be fine. Oh, is it the helipad over there, too? Yeah, it is over there. Get the basketball court. <laughs> the helipad is over here. Mini gem. Yeah, that's like mini mini gem. And I gotta show you guys upstairs. Or actually, let's show you guys the living room and uh kitchen over here. Nice little chilling spot. Okay, living room. I don't know what you guys think. Wait, who's this again? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. Let's see what do we have here. That was the kids' bedroom, bro. Remember, I switched that. That was the kids' bedroom over here. And then we got a big fish tank over here. And that's the main bedroom right here with the balcony. Actually, see everything that's going on downstairs. Catching a vibe over here. Let me know what you guys think, man. This is a lit crib, though. I remember that's why we used to throw parties in here all the time. The big bathroom. I thought that was a TV for a second. That's the mirror. And we got the closet over here. All right, from the outside view, let's see. Let me know what you guys think, bro. Look at what is hanging by. <laughs> yeah, this is the outside view of this thing. Now right, let's go. Last crib for the day, guys. Last crib for the day. I hope you guys been enjoying these type of episodes. And uh, yeah, you guys already know how we do. I feel like we haven't done this in a while, so why not? Or at least use this crib. Come on, let's go. 
All right, we got to pick up the vet over there. I'll get a chance to show you guys the crib too. As you guys can see from like right here, it definitely looked like a big crib. I mean, <laughs> thing is wow. Made it. Whoa, that was close. All right, we gotta move. We gotta move these two anyway. All right, welcome. We are here to pick up this vet over here, ZL one. And uh, right now, let me show you guys the crib, man. Okay. <laughs> My dude's already partying. Remember, all these properties are rented. Just gotta say what's up to the landlord. Hey, what up, my nigga? Hello. All right. I did give you the warning that I was coming through, just to show off this house. You know how you gotta, you gotta give your tenant the warning. You know, most of the time. Oh wow, this is this is nice. Oh, I remember this is Trevor's spot. We might not be able to show all downstairs, but let's go. Let's go downstairs. Let's go downstairs. I think we can't show the second step downstairs. Is it right here? Oh, shoot. Yep. This is Trevor's spot over there. Okay. We could show this side. We can't show over there. <laughs> Trevor be doing this thing. You guys already know. And uh mustache. Yeah, that we can actually show. Yep, well, let me know what you guys think. Wow. We need to turn to. <laughs> nah, let me stop. <laughs> oh, man. It was always good. It was, it was always great showing you guys this, these cribs, though, man. All right. So, anyway, that was the last one, bro. That was the last one. I'm trying not to show Trevor's stash, bro. <laughs> Trevor's kind of wild, bro. Trevor's kind of wild. All right, let's go upstairs so I can actually show you guys my favorite bedroom. I mean, other than my designer, a designer penthouse, this is probably the, my favorite design for like, you know, the wall for the bedroom and all that stuff. Yeah, this is one of my favorite right here. Let me pull up to the bedroom. Yes, you guys about to see. All right, this is nice. And uh, voila. Yes, this is one of my favorite, bro. We got the widescreen over here too. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. This was um, this is always one of my favorite when it comes to just the bedroom, just the bedroom. Nothing else about this crib. It's decent though. But uh, guys, we are out of here. Let's get this vet out of here, and then uh, we are out. I appreciate y'all, man. We do have a gem on the side over here. I did not forget that one. All right. All right let's go downstairs, move the vet, and now we can actually do our thing. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to jump it, it wouldn't let me. All right, so let's go. Oh, we got an umbrella right there too. Let's go. All right, we can't. I mean, you know what we can actually do? Let's back up this Porsche. Uh, I'm using Mania, so we're gonna make sure. Oh, actually, let's do it with Mania. I was gonna do it with Simple Native Trainer. So uh, extra. We're gonna put the top up because I don't want no rain, bro. In this car like that, putting the top up for now. Let's leave this out here. We're gonna have the Ford GT. Can't just sell it like that, you know. You know you gotta be on the list, bro, to even drive this. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Oh yeah, definitely shout out to Ford, man. All right, let's leave it like that. All right, vet, come on. I'm about to rip this road. 
Actually, uh, yeah, was it yesterday or the day before? Over the weekend, bro. That was this guy with the loud. I, bro, I hear a lot, of, a lot of loud cars, but that that Camaro was just too much. And you could tell he had cams in there and all that. But that Camaro was so loud, bro. I was like, nope, not definitely not staying away. I mean, de definitely not staying around that Camaro. Bro, it was the loudest Camaro I ever heard, bro. Like, bro, I I don't think anybody should be driving a car that loud. Like for real. All right, but anyway, guys. Oh, I don't even know how much was this. Let's go to work. This feel like it took forever. I hope you guys are all going to enjoy this. This is how we usually do. Let's go to work. Just like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy this, man. Um, I guess until next time. Let's go to work is always fun to make, man. Especially when the game worked well. We did have to restart one time. Only because I don't know what glitch. Sometimes it could be a car. It could be anything. Sometimes certain things just glitch the game. But um yeah, this time around it was random and we don't know what it was. But right now, guys, I am out of here. Come on, vet. Let's go home. We're about to sell you. Let's go. Oh man, she sounds so nice. Oh, she sounds so nice, bro. Oh, I was trying. I could feel like it's not ready. Oh, shoot. Okay, 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 okay. I had to get a feel of it because I was like, wait, I don't know. I don't want to be. I, I don't want to crash this around over here. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to like make make this car. You know, you know how these vets. You got to be careful, bro. Ooh, I got lucky. I got lucky. About to sell you today. We'll get a buyer, bro. I mean, I'm going to work. You guys enjoy this. I'm going to work right now, bro. How much you guys think they will give me for something like this? I say about. 60. But this is GTA. GTA be fresh sometimes. You've been buying a car for like a hundred thousand. You end up selling it for like five or ten. I was gonna have to stop. Oh shoot, I almost took the sign. I almost took the sign. Watch out, lady, watch out! All right. Last time we came over here, it did look fully glitched. At least it looked better now. And my cameraman was missing. He better be here to take pictures of this, bro. Where you at, bro? Oh, okay, there you go. Now we talking. Yeah, cause uh, you. I don't know. You went on lunch break or something, man? Probably not. The game was just glitching. All right. So, uh, sell. I just want to know how much they gonna. How much they giving me for this? I remove my insurance already. Take the car to the buyer and don't let another organization get in the way. And don't let them ruin. Oh, they right down the block. Is that them? I gotta watch out. I gotta watch out. I gotta watch out. Okay, they crash already. They crash already. We gotta deliver, bro. Let's go. Where they got me going? Wait, why would they have me do all this when I could just hop on the highway, bro? I'm about to hop on the highway. Because I need to lose these guys. See how they driving right now? Don't crash the car. Don't crash the car, homie. Yeah, just hop on the highway. I'm this highway can actually lead me all the way over there. And I have enough gas too, bro. This is bright. Yeah, why? Why did? Why? Anyway, GPS is, bro. Go. 
we should be there soon, guys. A lot of them popping out. But when when I'm on the highway, it's much easier to lose them. That's my competition. We selling this car today. They probably got the same vet trying to sell it to that buyer. Oh shoot, bro! I thought that cop was coming for me. All right, we're pulling up now. Where they at? They ain't nowhere. They ain't nowhere near us right now. All right. There you have it, guys. Um, where's the buyer? Oh, we got to pull it in on here. All right. Thank you. Well Shoot. done out there. The money's in the bank. 54,000? I mean, let me know if that was a good deal or not. Anyway, I got to call the guys and uh guys, this is it for now, man. That was wow. I haven't done let's go to work like that in a while. But yeah, welcome back. And uh thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Peace.